What the fuck? Uh, sorry about that. Not getting two videos up last week, guys. Uh, I my girlfriend and I recorded some State of Decay, the new uh, Heartlands map. But for some reason, my computer, it, well, I know why, it's my CPU, it's starting to get outdated and it's starting to mess up some of the games, like the more intricate games. So, uh, I gotta stick to, you know, these little duders, which there ain't no problem with that. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna hop on into this and I hope you guys enjoy. I have no idea about anything about this game. I don't know if it's supposed to be a horror game or if it's just supposed to be like a look around game. Like, I, I don't know anything about it. pull up to the driveway of a family holiday home and park the car it's dark but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago you remember being told to look in the glove box before going in it's a good time to be back good to be back what do i do what do i do d hello I'm sorry, I don't understand. Sorry, I don't understand. Hello? What do you understand? Oh, shit. What am I supposed to do? Ooh. Okay, the glove box is closed, but it appears to be unlocked. Open the glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. What does the note say? The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back and get power and its lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Uh, okay, what the fuck? Press enter to- oh. You pull up to the driveway of the family home. Okay. So it's just going back to the thing. So we read the note. Alright, so I'm starting to understand what I'm supposed to be doing here, guys. Alright, so I use the key. It's a house key, not a car key. You never were a car person. <laughs> I go in the house. I don't know what you're trying to use. I use the key to go in the house. I start the generator. Get out of the car. Yet. You open the car door and step out. All right, we're getting somewhere. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. I walk to the front door. Shit. I go in the house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. I use the key. You insert the key and turn the door lock clicks open. I go in the house. You step inside the front door. All right. 
You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. I flip the light switch. A click and nothing. There is no power. The sh note should say how to restore it. I use the generator. Generator. I go outside. You step outside the front door, okay. The house grand, blah blah blah, we already read all this. I go around the house. I don't want to enter the house again, I want to go outside and around the house. <laughs> What am I supposed to do, man? Oh, man. Oh, man. Look for the generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Start the generator, you fuck. Jesus, fuck, man. Turn the light on. Oh, man. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go up the stairs. Walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing, there is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's pictures of... Uh, Adorn the walls, matches of happy times. Go into your room. Walk into your old room. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here, and it's been preserved as well. On the desk is a gift wrapped in a box. Open the gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it? Dad has found your old computer, a future 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Plug in the... Oh my god. Go back to him, so many good memories, blah blah blah. Oh. Uh, computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. Set up the computer. Start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Play the game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. What the fuck? I think it's a horror game, guys. What is that? Get out. Oh, it changed. Okay. So you pull up the driveway to the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it is clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand it. Oh, man. So there's a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read the note. You don't recognize the handwriting, and it says, Get out, 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 get out. It says, Get out a lot. Oh man, get out, out, get out, the car, get out, the car, get out, the car, get out the car, alright. Oh man, this is getting pretty crazy, guys. Alrighty, get out the car. You force the warp car open and fall out. 
The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Oh, man. Walk to the door. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Of course you don't understand. Go in the house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Walk inside. Go in the house. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell of stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Oh man. Turn the lights. Shit. On. There's no power to the lights. The generator must be off. Go outside. You go back outside, coward. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Go to the backyard. Step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note we're needing to look around. Find the generator. Sorry about it. Oh my gosh. Look for the generator. Old generator can supply power to the house. All right, turn it on. Start the generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Awesome. Go back inside. Step inside. Go in the house. Good luck when you step inside the front door. Hey, okay. it's like, but you're sent to blah blah blah. Come on. Turn on the lights. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails of oak. Hmm. Go upstairs. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Ah, uh, turn the alarm off. Somehow the alarm stops, you can feel the panic set in. We're still in the hallway, the noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house, they should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent and the stairs leading up. Go upstairs. Go upstairs! You head up the stairs, they creak. Ain't but different the landing, the access to your sis, sisters, what? Room, your room, and the bathroom. Ooh, pick up the phone. Here, I answer the phone, your mind hurts and you taste iron. Of course, voices spill out of the phone into the room, however, Oh, whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up the phone. Relief. Thing but different. Okay. Go into the bed. Go into... Go in your room door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Uh, wow. Go in your sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't hear, you can't bear this. A bathroom. You went to the bathroom. Awesome. We got somewhere. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime, but the sink is heaven is a heaven for all kinds of bugs. K 
Kill the bugs. Shit. Okay, go downstairs. Go to the kitchen. Downstairs. Step back into the landing. All right, awesome. Come on. Go downstairs. You go back downstairs. Alrighty, already, already. Can we go in the kitchen now? Kitchen, living room, and stairs. All right, so we've got the kitchen and the living room down here. Go to the kitchen. You go into the kitchen. Kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tablespoons are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. What the fuck? There's written on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Go open the door. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Go, okay. So nothing in the kitchen. We're gonna leave the kitchen. Now, how are my shoes wet? Uh, go in the living room. Go into the living room. Alright, awesome. So what the fuck is in here? I room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your hand. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look around. Run down and empty, abandoned, and for good reasons. Is there anything? Okay. Nothing in the living room. We're gonna try to go back into the kitchen and see if we can do anything with the Karkoth. Go in the kitchen. closer but can't tell what it is or what it was no it <laughs> okay no smell ah there's writing on the wall and then what does the writing say that jesus fuck Six is smeared across the wall. One nine eight six. One nine eight six. One nine eight six. One nine eight six. Remember that. Okay. Go upstairs. I got goosebumps like all over me, man. This is creepy. Go to your room. Enter 1986. Uh. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Enter the numbers. One nine eight six. Two 
Enter the combination. You grab the lock, okay? The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Same but different. The landing has access to your sisters and blah blah. Okay, go in your room. The door is closed. Open the door. You open the bedroom door. Go inside. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go in. Which bedroom? Your bedroom? Your sister's? Yours. Oh my fucking gosh. Go in your bedroom. Go into your bedroom. Bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Go to the person. Shit. Oh my gosh, walk around. Ask him to leave. You can't leave here, this is where it has to end. What has to end? This is where it has to end. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haven't ever... You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hand, but still you punish me. I can't be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed I'm con and confused. This has to end now. What? As to end. You are pathetic, it was all your fault. Say it. You're pathetic. Oh, please stop. No. It was all my fault. Say it. No. Just say it. Fuck you. No. It was all my fault. I don't think we're getting anywhere else here. so confused. What the fuck? Alrighty, well, that was fucking weird. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Uh, it's kind of interesting, but it's kind of fucking weird, man. It gave me chills everywhere. I don't know. If you guys haven't played this game, you guys are going to have to check it out. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If you guys liked it, drop a like. You know, make sure to subscribe to see new content. And, uh, yeah. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Uh, uh.